continue to field questions for us similarly. I have a student asking from within our Telegram group about how to prepare for guideline type questions for 2CK and Philly medicine. So for example, uh, when do we start cancer screening, colonoscopy, mammography, pap smears? When do we do endocarditis prophylaxis, uh, vaccines, okay, HIV pregnancy? So we have all these guidelines. So how do we prepare for those for the USMLE? And I can give you a solid answer here. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Not start the clip. So how do we prepare for guideline type questions? And my answer is, unfortunately, preparing for guidelines, super fucking annoying because they can by all means shift over the course of a single year. All right, so when we're studying for step one, Marfan syndrome is going to be chromosome 15, FBN1, FBN2, autosomal dominant 20 years from now as well. But when I was sitting for the US Simile a decade ago, you, need, you needed to know that we treated C. diff with Metro, not Vank. Now it's Vank. You needed to know that we notably did not do lung cancer screening. Now we do it. So guidelines shift. So the way I would recommend going about studying for these questions so that you make sure you're fully up to date, because I've, by all means, I've made a family medicine PDF, pediatrics PDF, but they're literally not updated daily that way. So just so you can make sure you've covered your bases safely, what I want you doing is going through all the NBME content like, like I've talked about. Okay, I've made plenty of clips here on my YouTube under the exam guidance post talking about how I want you going through all the clinical master series questions, all the MBMEs, 6 through 12. So what's going to happen is, let's say you encounter a question on endocarditis prophylaxis and you're reviewing it. That is going to be your moment to double check online. Yes, you're going to use Google and you're just going to double check what are the newest guidelines. The new NBMEs and clinical master series will have explanations there. So you're going to have that info and then you're just going to compare it with literally Google. Okay. And you say, okay, like endocarditis prophylaxis, it's going to be any prosthetic material in the heart, any unrepaired con uh, congenital cyanotic heart disease, et cetera. Okay. We don't give it for simple mitral valve prolapse. So you're going to double check the guidelines. As you go through the NBME exams, you get a question on colonoscopy. You say, okay, now I'm going to double check with Google. And if it's a diagnosis of IBD, we're going to start colonoscopies eight years after the point of diagnosis and then do every two to three years. Okay, so we could talk about guidelines, make this a content clip. I'm not going to do that, but you're going to go through all the NBME content. And then as you encounter questions on a vaccine, Okay, you get a question on MMR, let's say. Now you're going to double check against Google. Okay, so annoyingly, this is a part of the 2CK prep. Okay, because if you merely go off of just here are your guidelines on a page and it was made five months ago, well, are we 100% sure that that's up to date? Okay, so that's my input on that. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.